Hi everybody, Dugras here with Dugras Reports. Welcome to a late night edition of Frugal Points, the series where I drive in my car and talk to you about the philosophical side of points and miles. It is 12.18 a.m. And I landed at the Des Moines International Airport around 11.45 p.m. on Tuesday the 3rd. So I guess today is very early in the morning of September 4th, 2024. Because I just got back from the Creator Meetup in Narlands. Got a flight from there to Denver. Layover. Hit the Capital One Lounge flight from Denver to Des Moines, and here I am, driving home late at night. And I thought, I'm probably going to sound like I'm drunk, but I promise I'm not. I don't, I don't drink, so that's not it. But when I get tired, I don't know, it's kind of like I'm a little bit drunk, but I'm just tired. So if I sound kind of worn down, that's why. But I thought I would talk about An ecosystem that has worked well and has some basic stuff that has worked well. And this trip was a perfect example. And that is Chase. And yeah, I know you might think, oh, Chase. How obvious. Yeah, I'm stating the obvious, but you know what? If it needs to be stated, I'm going to state it. So here I am, stating the obvious. Chase is a pretty good bank for credit cards. Let's talk about some ways that I used it. So, when I went to New Orleans, I stayed at the Hyatt-centric French Quarter. And it was like 12,000 points per night, except I think the last night might have been 8,500. Maybe that one was off-peak or something like that. A very fair use of points, and I had those points, I think it's a category four, don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure. Man, that was a bargain. So I mean, if you think about penny points, that's 120,000 a night, except for the last night, $85.50, that's pretty good, pretty clutch right there. So, you know, the Chase to Hyatt transfer is sometimes just just plain hard to beat. Whew, I don't have a credit card or anything with Hyatt. Maybe I should get one. Just heard a frequent miler about that. Uh, probably not. I digress. But anywho, that's one. Another one? On the way home? Book my flight through the Chase portal, CSR, 1.5 cents per point. Yep, worked out good. So, on the way down I didn't, I used Delta and I had some Delta credits left over from back when I had the business platinum and had my uh, airline incidental credits through through Delta. Had to use them before they expired in October. I think I actually still have like 15 or 20 dollars of Delta credits that are just going to expire. I can't think of any use for them in the next month. So uh, yeah, we got our entire hotel stay, Chase Points transferred over to Hyatt. Although technically some of them had already been transferred to Hyatt, they were kind of stuck over there from our previous venture. We got half the flights with Chase and the portal. And then how about uh, incidentals at the hotel? Well, I didn't have many. I bought a $4 bottle of pop, and with tax it was like $4.42. I know, that's some expensive pop. Charge that to the room. And then one meal. The last night I was there I ate in the restaurant inside the hotel. That was pretty good. 
charge that to the roof. That went on my Arrow Plan card. And, uh, how about Uber and Lyft? Well, those all went on my Arrow Plan card, too. You know who issues the Arrow Plan card? Chase Bank. And you know why I did that? Because I have transferred a decent sized stack of Aeroplan points from Chase over to Aeroplan back when it had a 20% transfer bonus. There's that baked in 10% transfer bonus if you transfer at least 50,000 points, which I did. So functionally a 30% transfer bonus. And at least through the end of this year on an unlimited basis, I can pay myself back on travel at 1.25 cents per point. And 1.3 times 1.25 is 1.625. So more than one and a half cents per point. I'm wiping out my Ubers and Lyfts. I'm wiping out my dinner at the motel and my $4 bottle of Pepsi. So that's pretty good. This, uh, this whole trip's not going to cost me very much. So yeah. And then even when I was uh, just out and about eating at a restaurant where I didn't have any sort of fancy trick to wipe off charges, I put them on the uh, Freedom Flex for 3X on Dining. And uh, at one point I stopped by Walmart and got some miscellaneous supplies, some EL fudge cookies. Some, you know, you never know when you're on a trip. I always forget something or need something, you know, just some miscellaneous items. Well, hey, that's also 3X on pharmacy with my Freedom Flex. And now Built has this thing with your linked cards where you get one Built point per dollar at Walgreens. It's actually two if you buy, like, Walgreens generic medication. So I'm getting four transferable points there at the... The Walgreens, New Orleans. Three chase, one built. That's pretty cool. So yeah, there's a lot of uses for chase. And I can do other stuff with it too, but... Right now I'm so flipping tired, I can't put any more thought than that into it. So yep, this was just a lot of stating the obvious, but there you go. If you like me stating the obvious, please subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up button. And as always, may your spending be frugal, and may your points be plenteous. Thanks for watching.